Did you know India is on track to become the world's next great AI superpower? With Microsoft investing $4 billion, Amazon investing $12.7 billion, and Indian data center firm Yotta already having ordered $1 billion worth of AI chips from Nvidia, India's AI scene is exploding. These investments and others could be set to put India way out in front in the global AI race. So much so that Nvidia CEO Jensen Huang has already said that he believes India could be the front office of the global AI revolution. So stick around to find out why I think India could leave countries like the USA and China in the dust over the long run. India is the world's most populous country, it has incredibly favourable demographics on a global scale, and it is rapidly emerging as a leader in the world of technology. Major international firms are pouring billions into the country's infrastructure. But why is this happening? Let's start with the numbers. Microsoft has committed nearly $4 billion to the southern state of Telangana, which is to buy land to build massive data centers. These data centers alone will require a whopping 660 megawatts of electricity, which to put into perspective is enough to power half a million European homes annually. Amazon isn't far behind, planning to invest around $12.7 billion in cloud infrastructure by 2030. These investments already signify a massive scale up in India's technological infrastructure. But then there is homegrown firm Yotta, which has a partnership with Nvidia and has just announced that it plans to purchase $500 million worth of chips from Nvidia, bringing its total order book up to a billion dollars. This move will see nearly 16,000 of NVIDIA's H100 and GH200 chips deployed by 2025. So why are these tech giants betting big on India? One major reason is a vast pool of young, skilled workers. India is home to Microsoft's largest R&D operation outside of the US, with two thirds of its 23,000 staff in the country being engineers. This talent pool is crucial for driving innovation. But India isn't just following the tech giants, it's also leading. One in four AI projects on GitHub, which is the world's largest repository for developers to work on, is run out of India, which again highlights the country's growing influence on AI development. The Indian government is playing a pivotal role here too. They're offering significant incentives for tech firms, and they're enhancing data access. Initiatives like the India AI mission and the establishment of a national data management office aim to level the playing field by ensuring researchers and startups can access high quality data sets. This move is critical as access to both open and proprietary data is a key differentiating factor for AI development. This is something that we see coming up over and over again when we're talking about the development of models. The data is really crucial and clearly the Indian government appear to be recognizing that. And as I've said, Nvidia CEO Jensen Huang has recognized this talent pool in the country by saying that he believes that India could well be the front office for the AI revolution. Additionally, the Indian government plans to procure 10,000 GPUs to support AI development in the country. We are still in early days on India's AI journey. It's not as far advanced as the US or China just yet, but what it does have is great demographics and smart people. With massive investments, a skilled workforce, strong government support, enhanced data access and incredibly ambitious plans, India is incredibly well poised not just to join but to lead the AI revolution. And with a fertility rate of 2.03 compared to the USA's 1.66 and China's shocking 1.16, India actually has much more promising long-term prospects as this technological revolution plays out. Younger people tend to be more creative and they tend to be more innovative and India is going to have a lot more of them for a lot longer. If it can set itself up well now to build AI systems effectively, then as you look further out in terms of not just years but decades, it's likely that India's influence is going to grow and probably grow beyond the current technological superpowers of the USA and China. That's it for me this week. I would love to know what you think in the comments. And guys, if you're still watching, 
that means that you are among the most engaged viewers on my channel. And so I just want to take a minute to thank you for sticking around. I really appreciate every single one of you. The people that watch all the way to the end of videos are the ones who are really, really impactful for me as a creator. So I appreciate you. Thank you. And if you're one of the many people who have watched several videos and haven't subscribed yet, then I hope that you'll consider it. Thanks very much. I'll see you next time.